And Game of Thrones. Okay. Where do we want to start? <laughs> you want to start with episode one? You want to start with episode four? You want to start with episode two or three? <laughs> episode one was kind of sleeper. Episode one. It was kind of a sleeper Man. for me. Kind of uh, like nothing. Nothing crazy. Vance, Vance Raider got shot in the heart while he was being burned at the stake. And, uh, of course, uh, fuckhead, uh, what's his name? Snow? No. Stannis? Yes. Baratheon. He gets a case of the ass with John. It's, it's, it, he didn't say not to do it. Yeah. So it's like, you interrupted the way I was going to kill this guy. Well, hey, you didn't tell me not You said to he was going to get burned at the stake. You never said he was going to get burned alive at the stake. Yeah, you didn't really go into detail <laughs> on that one. And the red lady trying to seduce him, since I'm moving on to another episode that quickly. That was cute. I like that, yeah. That That's was cute. Funny. And he's like, no, I'm still in love with a dead chick. I like another redhead. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, uh, she, did, she dyed her hair, didn't she? What? Who? Brigitte? Or, no, not Brigitte. Uh, what's her the Red Witch. Ingrid. Yeah, Ingram was redheaded, but I'm talking about the Red Witch. The Red Witch is the Red Witch. Next to Cersei, second most hated person I in do, Westbrook, I as her. far as I'm concerned. Oh, oh hell, hell, no. Despise no, 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 no. Who do you hate more than her? Ramsey Bolton. Uh, I hate him way more than I hate her. He's kind of a gigantic I don't dislike her. She's just trying to help out her quote-unquote king. I have, could you grab me a Mountain Dew while you're there? You don't dislike... The Red Witch. Not as much as everyone else's. I mean, she's not my favorite character, but... Least... Oh. Why do you dislike her? Well, let me let me hear why. She. What has she done for you to dislike her so much? <laughs> she was born. She was raised. I don't, I, I don't know. I enjoy my manipulation and cunning, but I do not enjoy my manipulation from a cunt. Hmm. Is... Can, can I just oh. go with that? Is that okay? No, 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 no not to me, but I, I understand your point. I, I just don't like the way that everyone around her is being thoroughly manipulated, and not a single fucking one of them has any idea that it's happening. I mean, even Stannis' wife bought into it for a time. Like, the only one that's seen through it since day one, well, the only two people that have seen through it since day one is the guy who chopped his fucking fingers off and his daughter. Jon Snow saw it through it. Since it's day one. Okay, well, day one since you met her. <laughs> yeah, since that first scene back when they were burning the seven gods or whatever. Mm. Uh, so what do you think? you think there's some kind of um, lingering effect for Jon Snow because he killed Mance Raider that, like, the wildlings will follow him now? I believe. He mercy, because he gave him a merciful death? I believe wholeheartedly they will. You believe that? Okay. Because I, I think the I think there's gonna be something like that. I don't know if it's. 100%. I think the wild. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily think they're gonna join the Black Watch, but at the end of the day, I definitely think that they will give him more allegiance than they'll ever give Stannis, and they would rather die. The fact that John couldn't believe what Mance was talking about until the bitter bloody end just blew my mind. Like you don't understand principle, you don't understand concept. Like you're. You're going to sit here and you're going to talk about how you gave your oath to the watch, that you belong to the watch, yada, yada, yada. And then Mance says the same thing, only using different words, and you're trying to talk him out of it. Essentially, that's what that whole entire thing was. He goes to, Stannis comes to him and says, you're going to be my boy, this is what I'm going to do for you, Blue, let me hook you up. And he's like, no, I, I gave my oath to the watch. And Mance says... Essentially, no, I don't care. I gave my oath to my kin, da 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 and then John's trying to talk him out of it. That, But that's the way it was written, and I think that's why John gets it at the end, and that's why he gives him a mercy killing. Yeah. I, I well, It's about be, the oath. To be fair, Man's Raider used to be in the Night's Watch, so he already denied, or he uh, went back on one oath, so I don't understand... I guess, I think Man's Raider and John are, are essentially the same person as why. He went back, Mance Raider went back on his oath and went north of the wall, and that's when he united everyone. And now he, he made another oath to them after he's already made one oath, and that he won't break that oath he made to those people not to like, just, he wants to get them south of the wall. He doesn't want them involved in some stupid war. Well, but his oath wasn't to be against the Night's Watch, the Night's Watch. his oath was to keep them safe. The Night's Watch? 
No, Mance's oath was not to go Keep against the, the, the Wild Ones. The Night's Watch. It wasn't about attacking the Night's Watch. It wasn't about being against everything they stood for. It was about keeping his people safe. The I, fact that they were conflictual is one of those things. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I'm saying his first oath was to the Night's Watch. But you're saying he renounced that and therefore was against the Watch. Yes, but which oath? He already renounced one oath to make another oath, so I don't know why it's that big a deal that he does it again. Full circle here, Jon Snow made one oath. He renounced that oath whenever he pled allegiance to Mance Raider, whenever him and Ingrid and everyone else, they, they scaled the wall to get across the wall to get together for a secret attack. And then he went back to the wall, so well, he technically was John trying to get home. I understand that, but you have to keep in mind that his father was the most brilliant politician in Westeros. Mance Raider or John? Ned Stark. John's father, Ned Stark, was the most brilliant politician in all of us. I'd say Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion Lannister was up there. I give Tyrion a little bit more. Based on, I give Tywin. Well, Tyrion, Tywin didn't, understood. Tyrion didn't have the place, their positioning. To yes, have but back. Tywin understood the value of money. Ned understood the value of people. Man, we could talk so much about Game of Thrones right now. I'm just telling you, I'm just Tyron saying, Lannister. It's all coming back to me now. I was Tyrion a Lannister. Conversation. I'm like, man, do I remember any of this? Tyrion shit? Lannister, my God. In, in what uh, was it, Lord Baelish or. The, the, the eunuch. I don't know his name. Oh, no. You're talking about spider. The, the, spar- spider. the spider. The uh, spider. He was like, you were the greatest hand of the king. You and Jon Snow were the two greatest hands of the kings I've ever seen. Oh. Ned Stark. Ned Stark. I'm sorry. You and Ned Stark were the two hands of the king. The greatest hands of the kings I've ever seen. And yet you guys served the shortest term of any hand of the king I've ever seen. Because they were both there. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and, and uh... Oh, God. But now, before we get too far, let's away just from, go character by character. Can we before, do that? before <laughs> I get, have twenty minutes. Before I would go, we get too far away from what I said. Do okay, you agree with me? Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Ned Stark was a brilliant politician as far as peoples go. Yeah, Tywin Lannister was a brilliant politician as far as money goes and what money will buy goes. Yeah, but without it's money, it's all about the value. Of well, if Ned Stark had money, it'd be amplified to a higher degree of how good he can maneuver things. Yeah, but he maneuvered that well with nothing. Yeah. Literally, look at his kingdom. It was nothing. Well, the kingdom is five times, or like three times the size of the rest of the whole kingdom. His ki- Ned's? Yeah. If you look at the north, yeah, it's it like a, five times the size of everything else. Yeah, but it was a colossal fucking ice ship. It was. It was. I'm just. Saying, I get what you're saying. Size means everything, this. but not in that instance. Well, you gotta manage all that by yourself. It's not like you have... Yeah, but that's why they had small lordships throughout. That's why everyone's trying to become the Warden of the North, the Wardeness of the North. Yada, yada, okay, yada, you got whatever. to the part where... Okay, we'll just stick in the North right now. No, well, we're, we're in the North. We can go on to Baelish and Littlefinger and the way he's manipulating the living shit out of Sansa and how fucking pissed off I am that she's going to marry that fucking needle oh, yeah. fuck that cut off Reek's cock. And I don't even like fucking Reek. But I actually feel sorry I, for the I little bastard the right now. You saw him like moving around so she didn't like, see him. I have the feeling he's planning something. I, I'm worried about the Needle Dicks, uh, three hookers. Ramsey. <laughs> they looked, they looked pissed. And saw it's a show about. Well, you did see, see, this is why I think Stark, this is why I agree with you that Stark's like the greater politician. Because even when Sansa showed up at the Bolton's house and like gave her a room or whatever, mm-hmm. even the help was like, we will remember, we still remember. Like, about the Red Wedding. Yeah. We still remember. We will always remember. Even, like, the help was saying that to her. So I think that... Someone got her back? I think there's a, I think a lot of people still got her back. I think there's a lot of people that, in a, like that, would jump off the Bolton, Bolton ship. In a heart. That's why I can't wait for the next I can't believe, couple episodes. I can't believe... Well, no, I can't I think believe. Baelish has it's a plan. It's Game of Thrones. I think Baelish, Baelish has a plan... And I, I sometimes you love the character, and sometimes you hate. What he what he did last season was awesome. What he's yeah, doing he now, I'm called, on the fence. He just got called back by Cersei, so God only knows what he's walking into. Oh yeah, but uh, because George R. R. Martin has even gone online and said, "Hey, you're not going to like this season if you read the books, because we're going away from that now." Yeah, well, according to books, I'm not going. I'm not trying to spoil anything here. Jon Snow gets stabbed sometime this season. Because he wants to go and take cat take uh um winter winterfell winterfell he wants to go take winterfell from the Boltons. That's what he wants to do. 
Well, there at are, some point this season. He could honestly argue that they are a threat to the security of the wall. And he the could doors. absolutely do that. And, and, and it'd be brilliant I, if he could talk him into it, but since he is the commander of the Knights Watch, he doesn't have to talk him into I it. I do think it's awesome that he is now the leader of the Knights. I did tell you that was coming. Really I did tell you that was coming, didn't I? No. Okay. You, I, have, I, you I, actually told me that the way things are going to go next season weren't going to be the way things are supposed to go in the book because two of the people that were in the next book died in the tunnels Pit and fighting Grim. off the giant. Pit and Grim. Yeah, Pit and Grim. So, yeah, that, but, that's the last hey, apparently he had more followers than, um, he had more followers than he anticipated because... He got the Meister! Come on! I think, well, no, he got, he got the majority vote. He has a lot more people who are on his side than, than I thought. I thought it was Pit and Grim were like in, in his corner and then he got Sam. But apparently more than half, almost well, more than half, because he, he had two, two tied and then this one right here. Was um, it's less than half. A third of that vote is just because he banged a redhead. Probably a third <laughs> of that vote is just because he banged a redhead. I just want to hear about how sex is. And I understand what uh, I actually I actually agree with Sam, and it says this more in the book that their oath does not deny them from having sex. So their oath denies them from taking credit for fathering a child. That's all their oath really says. Yeah, like you can bang as much as you want. But if that woman has a child, you are to renounce any claim to that child. That's all it says. It really does say that. Well, ha- there's a conversation you're going to have later about that because everyone keeps saying, like the guy, his guy's only argument that why Joe Snow doesn't need to be leader of the wall was because he banged a wildling. <laughs> well, but it, it, and as Jesse said, I mean, if you're honestly on that wall, your life sucks. You're stuck here. You took an oath. You got nothing left to do, but pick the guy you're going to follow next. Like literally, that is the highlight of your year is the fact that you get to pick your next leader. You actually have a say in it. Who do you want? Do you want the level-headed guy who has seen both sides of the story, who's going to balance it out? I'd be like, like, I I, I, I don't really want you to, like, like kill anybody, and I don't want these guys to kill us either. Maybe we can find somewhere in between and we can hang out and smoke a joint once in a while. Or do you want the guys, like, yeah, we're going to fuck them all, and I'm going to fuck my enemies, and oh, my enemies in this house, I'm going to fuck them too. John's not that guy. He I had to make did. a point. He had to make a point. He had to draw his line of sand, because that's establishing authoritarian leadership, which essentially is what it is. I have it's a feeling a half the group isn't going to like that very much. Well, they can not like it all the fuck they want. He's John fucking Snow, commander of the Night's Watch. Yeah. Lord commander of the Night's Watch. And nobody's going to fuck with the Meister. No. Nobody's gonna fuck with the blind guy that sees everything. Yeah, like he literally is the last the Targaryen. Doll. He is Westeros. the Heim doll of Westeros. The last Targaryen in Westeros. I think you want to know why I personally think that that uh, you're not even giving me credit for what I just said. I completely understand what you're saying. Thank you. <laughs> I do think that the uh, the Meister or whatever it is, he is a Targaryen. I think he senses that there's Targaryen blood. In no, he is a Targaryen. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know John. Oh, John's totally a Targaryen. There's still that rumor out there. I think he is. I think he is the child of one of the Targaryens and Ned's sister. That's my personal thought. That is my thought. And that's why uh, Robert uh, Baratheon, who like loved Ned's sister so much, that's why he hates Targaryens so much. Because it stole his woman. Robert was Baratheon the king. was the king in the okay. season one. That's why he hates Targaryens so much. That, okay. That's my that's my thought, that's my thought process. God, okay, there's okay, one what character. Were, what were you what were you doing? What are we going to do next? Let's just go to let's go to Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister. I I like where his story's going. They got kidnapped though. <laughs> and that Wait, Lord Boromir. Yeah. Is it Boromir? Yeah, it's Boromir. I. I t- He's got to do what he's got to do because apparently Grey Worm and the other old knight dude. I don't remember his name, but I know who you're talking yeah, about. They're, they're in dire straits they're, at the end of the fourth they episode. They might be dead. Yeah, that's right. I said fourth episode. <laughs> we are. This is a spoiler. Spoiler alert, everyone. We are going to be talking about episode four. It's we not are going to ruin anything because it, well, 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 it might. It might. There's a big fight coming. That's the same we're out of the game. <laughs> All the dragons come back. Oh, I got that, was that was episode three. That was episode three. Where it was perched at the top of the pyramid. And oh, no. Down yeah, and that's... Yeah. Episode, yeah, that's the end of episode three. Yeah. yeah. Promise you. Episode four is where they're all bleeding. <laughs> the Sons of the Harpy and they're all bleeding. Well, you, uh... 
What's up, you fuckers that DVR'd it? <sighs> Hope you're caught up. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Tyrion, yes. Um, I do. Th- I want him to meet up with Daenerys and help her. I think that sh- her time is just gone. Like there are no slaves so much in Westeros that that's where she needs to be. She's not in Westeros. I know that. She needs to go to Westeros where there are no slaves. She shouldn't have this issue anymore of freeing slaves. Well, she just needs to take her throne back and be a ruler. Rather than trying to free all the slaves, she's done. Uh, whatever that place is. Marine and... Yeah. Whatever we're calling it. That end of the plot line is dulling for me. It's just... It's a never-ending battle. Because you got people who want slaves and people who... Don't want slaves. Or, or are slaves and they don't, don't know what to do with themselves. And then, well, then you have the people who don't know what to do with themselves because they've been slaves their whole lives. That was well, the issue they had last season. Well, the ridiculous thing is, is if you paid attention to the previews for the entire season, you realize that she does approve pit fighting, and it does come back. Because <sighs> Borger's fighting in a pit. Yeah. In one uh-huh. scene. That, 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 that's going to happen. She's going to approve pit fighting, or they're going to start it without her anyway, and... If she's going to cast him into the pit, hello, yeah. <laughs> means she approved it. See, that that's like the actual dullest storyline right now. It's seriously whatever's going on in Marine, because it's just so slow, and it's the constant same bullshit over it's, and over again. Yeah, it is, because it's she conquers place. It's getting boring. It's a little bit of resentment for her, and then she moves on to somewhere else. I never thought that the Bolt, Ramsey Bolton storyline would be the most interesting. Okay, before. let's go to that next. Because Sansa has been picked to marry Ramsay Bolton. By Littlefinger. And that, by marrying that, that'll get, that puts a Stark back in the north. That puts, that connects the Vale to Lord Bolton. There's so many things that are going on right now. <sighs> he is so over politics. Oh, so God. Weird. By the way, that little bitch Robin. <laughs> The, the the 14 year old boy who is still breastfeeding. I still want to kill him. God, Jesus, he just needs to just fall on a knife. Yeah. Like, why could Watch him sword fight was the funniest thing I've ever why seen. Why couldn't his mother have been holding him when the little bigger pushed her into the thing? Yeah, exactly. Or the moon door. Mm. The moon door. I agree with you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call it something else, kids. It's the moon door. Don't rip me apart. It was Don't the moon door. Apart. He, he, did, he doesn't know. He didn't door. know. He didn't know. <laughs> There's nothing even to talk about there. That is just minor annoyance. I just... How is the most interesting thing going on in all of Westeros happening in the North right now? Because what Cersei is doing in the South is just... Oh, that's about to turn full circle on her. Yeah, but that's just constant... Because she's banging her own brother. You think that the religious people have an issue with that? <laughs> they, you think they're going to have an issue with dude, that? Dude, Marjorie is... Yes. And Tom Tommen is more worried about making his Her. wife happy than he is mommy happy. Yeah. Because his wife bangs him, and he enjoys that. <laughs> oh, he enjoys that thoroughly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just, oh, yeah. okay, here, this scene where she was talking about it with her friends when Cersei walks in, yeah. it could go one of two ways. Like, is she actually complimenting him and bragging it up, or is she making fun of him? Because I could see it going both ways depending on what point of the conversation you walked in. I'm trying to decide I where she's she at. I think she was complimenting him and in, the, in a roundabout way insulting her because I'm sure she doesn't want to hear how her son is in bed. Okay. Because I'm trying I, to decide. Like, cause, like, to I watched, her, it's still her little boy. Well, I watched it, and then I'm like, oh, man, she's giving her boy. Man, everyone's going to want to fuck that boy. And then I like thought about it, and I'm like, eh. I, I, I can see they're, they're, well, kind, of, they're she, kind of giggling and laughing what? at him. Like maybe no, they're like they're insulting the king. Yeah, they're living, like, giggling and laughing at him. Seriously, they have a but, Oh, uh, and how important was that scene when she found the witch in the woods? Yeah. Uh, they didn't even get your, to the last your, part. Your king will sire 20 offspring. You will sire three. And so there are the literally 20 of them. And they've only killed 12? They only killed 12. I'm not. I'm not entirely convinced that uh, uh, Pog. Oh yeah, the, the one who follows Brian around. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm fairly. I'm fairly certain that he might well, be. Well, one of them's in the north, and that was the one that the Red Witch put a leech on him or whatever, and did some kind of spell. Didn't kill him, but did some kind of that spell. That was the him. one who was running around with Aya. Yeah, Arya. Yeah. Arya. 
anyway. Yeah, uh, I mean, we're not even going to argue about that. We're not going to argue about that. A, a girl. The A girl. <laughs> little Stark. We'll call her Little Stark. <laughs> her. I honestly think that if they stay with their storyline and stay with it hard, that'll be the most interesting thing that happens this season. It will be because they're the two strongest female characters on television right now are Arya Stark and uh, <laughs> Selena Kyle. Right. If it stays to that storyline, that's what's going to be. And they're probably the two youngest female characters on I'm, television right now. I like to see the development of it. I, I, I'm really happy with the way they've gone. Granted, it's only been bits and pieces and not a full entire episode, which would have been super tits. But super, super tits. Super <laughs> tits. Yeah. But they are doing a fantastic job with the development of her character and her putting everything behind her but the one thing her father gave. Her. I that like the one that. Thing her father gave her. That was what John gave her. Is that what John gave her? John gave her that. That's right. John, John gave, gave her that, that sword. You're right. You're right. Which I think that is, I think that's foreshadowing or something. I don't know. I don't know if that. I just know. I I I think it's foreshadowing. It, it's it's working out well. They're doing very good. And the okay, I'm just sure I can that. Okay. how how can you be no one when you have Aya Stark's clothes, Aya Stark's sword, Aya Stark's coin, Aya Stark's silver? Da, da, da. Like I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Like, that I definitely put it into perspective. Like, Did you get the vibe of that girl that was hitting her with wand? I mean, yeah, she's looking at her, but she didn't really, like... Like, looking through her. She, yeah. She didn't, like, move her eyes whenever Arya moved or said stuff or whatever. No, not at all. I got the vibe that she was blind. Well, that's in the book, not, apparently she goes blind for a time. Well, that's part of learning to be faceless, man. <laughs> so, not um, able to see faces. Who do we Let alone your own. Still... I'm I'm curious as to what Reek's doing. I'm sure he's got a plan. And I had I heard an interesting theory on that from a friend of mine. That whenever uh Reek's sister showed up to free him last season, that she said something to him when he was in there as like maybe like a future plan. Just something simple, not like any elongated plan. But he said something simple to him. And like that, and that's like why he's still there because he could easily have left. Well, a bunch of times he could easily have left. Y- you can tell by the way he was acting in that scene with Ramsey and his father, or Ramsey and his bastard son. It's Ramsey and his father. He's, he's an official son now, so it's the states. Ramsey. Okay, which one's Ramsey? Ramsey's the Ramsey Snow is the bastard. Bastard. Okay. So now it's Ramsey Bolton, who's no longer a bastard. He is officially a okay. son of the Lord. You could tell that Reek was thinking of some shit. Yeah, he was sinking it all in, and every and like you said, every time he hid from Sansa, he did not want Sansa to know he was there whatsoever at all. Yeah, he shrunk from sight as much as humanly possible. The kids got him a plan, and something's going on. That's going to be interesting I, to see develop. I don't see it coming out until episode eight or nine at least. Cat, what are you doing? It's just heavy. I don't want to jump on the cord though. So he's not going to jump on the cord. He's not a tightrope walker. He okay. is not. <laughs> A Grayson. All right, let's make sure. Um, <laughs> Did you even catch the reference? I, yeah, I, I understand the reference. Right. Right. The first, the first dog, probably. Oh, there you go. And my word. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> any other characters in Game of Thrones we need to talk about? Uh, right. Jamie and uh, dumbass. Jamie and Braun. Yeah, fucking around in Thorn. And man, <laughs> overall, his wife's seat. sister, wife, wife. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it could go either way. She's absorbing another character's role in this from the book, but yeah, she and the is sand pissed and, and the sand the, sisters were awesome, dude. The one I thought was a dude. I'm not gonna lie. They have small boobs, of course. <laughs> well, no, 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 with the short hair. Yeah, like when it came up to greet her mother on the horse mm-hmm. and jumped off. I'm like. Dude, they're gonna. I like, gonna this, mess up this is gonna be right. interesting. It's like that's kind of a weird outfit for a dude to wear. But I'm like, you know, it's storm. It's whatever. They do their own thing down there. It's cool. And then well, it turned around, and I was like, holy shit, it's got tits. It's chick. So that now I wonder because we heard the prophecy that all three of Sansa's children will die before she does. What's your name? Yes, seriously. Sansa. I did say Sansa. I meant seriously. Whatever. Okay. Uh. Now that you heard the prophecy that all of Cersei's children will die before she does, I wonder how both their children are going to die now. I, 
I wonder if Margie's going to go dark side and kill Ty or is it Tommen? No, Tommen. Tommen. Yeah. Tommen doesn't deserve to die. He doesn't. He's a good kid. He's I like a him. Really good kid. He actually listened to everything wise that Tywin actually had to say. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like he understands. Like he could have been all Joffrey and be like, "Kill the fuckers. I got better things to do today." But he's like, "No, I don't want anyone to die." He's like drawing his line to saying he's going to be a humble, a great, or he has. He could be a potential. humble and great king. Could be. He has a potential. Could be. I, I don't want him to die. Well, I if she learns die. from if she learns from Marjorie, well, she already tried to kill him once. Marjorie? No, seriously, tried to kill Tommen. Oh yeah, that's right. She did. in the green fire. Yeah, yeah, tried to kill him. Dumb bitch. Fuck her. And then meanwhile, Jamie's fucking sword fighting with one hand. And seriously, seriously. Let's let's assume he's had that thing for oh I don't know it's like medieval times a year and a half Dang, he has just now figured that he can parry and block with the fucker it's bronze I it's, I don't understand why he doesn't turn his I whole hand lot like a hand but where it locks in a shield I don't understand, I don't understand why because he could you can use if you I'm, I'm not getting too much you can put it on a hand that is attached to a shield already and make the metal go down your arm. He could use your whole arm as to block something. That's what I you can't do that with any. You can't do that if you're like with your hand. If you do that with your hand, you have no flexibility. You don't need flexibility if you don't have a hand. No, it just has to be a shield. Yeah, you can run a greave all the way down here because if, and if, even run it out beyond that and up above it and make your fingers look longer. Make your arm look weird. Who gives yeah. a shit? It's a greave. It doesn't have to do anything. Well, but it, more. it is an issue for me and you because me and you need we need flexibility. He doesn't need flexibility, so he can turn. He can make a thick metal run all the way down through here to protect his whole arm, and he can just use the whole arm. Yeah, but spider you and I need out. to do this. You not need flexibility and movement. He yeah, doesn't spider web it out. Make it look like your hand is constantly like, bitch, get out of my face. Who I just don't know why he's making an attachment for a shield. I'm sorry that Brom couldn't make him a better sword fighter with his left hand. I don't think that's it. I just, it's, it's, dude, if you do something your whole life, it's hard to learn something. He's in his thirties. It's hard to learn something brand new when you're in your thirties. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, if you stick to your dick he should have learned. It. He should have. That's why he should have dual wheel. You got to learn a dual wheel. That way, if something bad happens, you still have that one good. If you're fucking your sister and your brother's a midget, you're bound to have a bad time. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. And how did? God, oh my, I'm not even getting into it. Go ahead. How did Tommen turn out so fucking normal? I had no idea. You'd think Joffrey would have like tortured him his whole life or something. Just for fun. You just would have thought Joffrey would have fucking killed him already just for fun. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. Maybe he's just about. maybe just most of his life he's learned just to avoid Joffrey. <laughs> I just want seriously to die. I, we everyone wants seriously. I don't want seriously but now again, I don't because after hearing the prophecy, it's like, well, like, I don't really give a shit about the girl because I'm not fucking familiar with You know with what her. I you know so, how I think she'll die? I think after her last child dies, she commits suicide, which is not the way that bitch needs to go. I think Tommen should kill her. No, because he's supposed to die before. They didn't say the third part of the, the prophecy, the woman said. I thought she went through all three parts. No, she only went through two. She, uh... I guess you maybe... You will be queen for a short time, but you were replaced by a younger, younger prettier queen. More... Uh, she said something else, like she was like more appealing or okay. better to the uh, people. You will sire three children, your king will sire twenty. Oh, she commented and said, "And your three children will die before you do." Okay, I didn't catch that. And then the I third part that. of that is that you you will have a younger brother who will murder, kill your mother and your father. And there's something else in that, but basically that was it. Your so that's why she tried to kill him when he was born. Yes. Oh, that makes more sense. It will kill your mother and your father. So that's part of it, too. Well, technically, Terry didn't kill the mother. That's but one of he, those things that she happens. is the reason that he is the reason she died. If she would never given birth to him, he would, she would never die. I would not have blamed my boy for her death had that happened. I, I, that's, I know. Just, those I, that's how she sees it. That's how she, Well, if you have that prophecy in your ear before, you're, before you have a baby brother, what are you going to think? I should fuck my older brother. I guess that's I guess that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the only logical. If that's a prophecy that. in your ear, like that can't be true. I, I need to fuck my older brother. You Jesus. probably well, okay. Let, let's just put it this way. Up. Let me just put it this way. If you hear the first two parts of that prophecy and you're like, that sounds retarded. 
how am I going to do this? Then you hear the third part, like, my baby brother's going to, my little brother's going to kill my sister, or my, my mom and my dad. That's stupid. And then as you're giving, as she's giving birth to her baby brother, Duh. her mom dies. Now how, what's she supposed to think? Well, I would have known it was seriously immediately. Like, literally. That's why she's so protective of her children now. That explains why she's so protective of her children so much. You can't stop the future. I know, I'm just saying. Maybe it's one of those self fulfilling prophecies by telling her that it's going to happen, it does happen. Yeah. Kind of like, uh. Well, maybe that's why she was trying to kill him anyway, because she thought Joffrey was going to die, so she's going to kill Tomlin, and then the bitch is off to fend for herself with the Dorns. Well, the Dorns have said openly they're not going to do anything to her, but that's not the, um, what's her name? I can't remember the woman's name, but sisters, the woman that's hanging out with the sisters. Let's just call them the Sand Sisters. The sand, they are the Sand Serpents. Sand Serpents. Sand Serpents. And, uh, well, that's what she wants. She wants them dead. She, she wants her dead, like, now. She wants to kill her and then send her back piece by piece. I think killing Jamie and sending him back piece by piece is the far better. You think that? Hmm. That would be an interesting turn of events. Well, I'm just saying... I mean, oh, seriously, she'll go bang she, someone else. <laughs> no, she covets her daughter, but she loves her brother. She'll go bang someone else. She'll get over that. <laughs> she, I, I think she's she, a cold-hearted bitch. She's she like is running out of cousins and uncles. Seriously, <laughs> true. she is running out of cousins and uncles because the last uncle she tried to promote was like, you know what? Fuck you. I see through your bullshit. I'm out. I'm not playing your stupid ass little fucking game. You yeah, can sit here and surround getting... yourself. With psycho fans, and you can oh, this guy over here, Lord Tyrell, that you're sending to the Iron Bank with uh, your boy Jim. Jim's gonna fucking kill Lord Tyrell. That's how that story ends. Yeah, that's a given. She is trying to fucking like, and I don't. To be honest with she's you, she's trying to maneuver everything. Uh, she makes she's making no enemy, no allies. She's making a lot of enemies. You can't. I I don't think uh, Marjorie or her grandmother would be someone I would want to fuck with. Mm-hmm. Because the grandmother... Well, as of right now, they are the richest people in Ustros. Well, yeah, they got more money than everybody. Yeah. They don't know the Iron Bank shit. Yeah. I, I think, and I think and as it was told in last season that the uh, Iron the, Bank actually owes them money. The Iron Bank owes them money. And the only, and the main reason that Tywin Lannister wants the marriage between Joffrey and, and um, Marjorie. Marjorie is that they, they can help settle the debts between the Iron Bank and the throne. But that was the only downside that Tyron Lannister ever had with getting the throne was all the debt they had accumulated. Yeah, and he couldn't pay it back. Well, but yeah, because his, his mind's are from <laughs> um, Well, but never mind that. It, it, even after they got it from the Targaryens, they were already in debt at that point. Yeah. So. Mm, yeah. No. Yeah. They were, after Rob took over, they were already in debt. Oh, I, that, yeah, I thought you meant the, I did the mines. The mines were No, after it. Rob took over, they no. were already in debt. Where the Varying Circe didn't clear Where the death. Baratheons are from is where the Targaryens were initially from. Well, no, I'm just okay. saying that when Rob took the throne from the Targaryens. Dragon Rock, I think it was called Dragon Stone, something like that. Well, when Rob took the throne from the Targaryens, they were already in debt. Yeah. The throne so was already in debt. And while. Well, and a Lannister, while Lannisters always repay their debts. That debt. Robert never repaid. paid off his debt, though. Robert would just kept throwing stupid parties and feasts and stuff, and never actually paid off his debt. Yeah, but that was the whole reason he married a Lannister. Yeah, was to do that, but it never happened. Yeah, because the time was, like you said, lines ran out of money. Yeah, or ran out of gold. So, uh, well, I'm sure he has plenty of money because he doesn't have. He does handle his money, his money part very well. He says not have that. He doesn't have a consistent revenue. To keep it coming in the way well, he wants it. If so. he had kids that gave shit more about fucking each other than they did cash, then, you know, that would change the best, the would The be. best plan they ever had would have been to get uh, Tyrion, but Tyrion won Castle Rock because Tyrion is actually very. Tyrion is one of the smartest characters on that show. If Daenerys takes Tyrion in as an advisor, She'll be queen within two seasons. She'll be queen next. I I think she'll it'll start this season. She'll start towards Westeros. It's not going to start until I is done her turning. Maybe we'll see. Um, anything else about Game of Thrones we want to talk about? What plot lines do we have? We have the Sons of the Harpy, uh, Freight and Havoc. No yeah. cares. I don't want to talk too much about that because that's a spoiler. No but cares. um. They do care. It's, it's Grey Worm it's, might be dead. I don't want Grey Worm to be dead, but I've got two more weeks till I find out. 
You're welcome. I don't know. You can binge watch now. You don't have to. I did. I binge watched on Sunday, and now I'm over caught up. I'm glad you are. We can finally talk about stuff. Um, we got that going on. That's what's going on there. You have her right hand man that she kicked out is bringing Tyrion Lannister to her. He's gonna still have to fight for his life. We're all well aware of that fact. She's probably like, guess what? If you win this, then I'll take you back. That's probably what's gonna be. He's gonna win. I think Dario is somehow. They're not going to kill Barber. What? I don't think they're going to kill Barber. They might because he is the star of a Star's television show. They might need to get rid of him because he can't. It's hard for him to do both. But I really like his character. I thought so I, I thought he was one of the I most well fleshed out characters thus far. What do you think? Her, his you think there's some kind of like relation, like he, like she, he's related to her somehow, or by the way Tyrion was talking, yes. Hmm. Okay. By describing the dragon on his Apollo with yeah. the bear, mm-hmm. I'm assuming that he's from the original court, and therefore, being from the original court, you usually only promote your relatives. Well, so the I, Targaryens only promote their relatives, so yeah. I got yeah, but if he's got the dragon on his Apollo, that means... I think that... He's from the court, you always well, also got a those. bear. The bear is a, dick, is a hint, because the bear is a segment of another house. Which house? I don't know. That's uh, why I think that's a... So you mean the opening credits are going to get longer? Maybe. <laughs> that is, they're already... I have a, damn, I have that a theory. Is, here, here, I have a theory. Here's my, the only last complaint, episode. here's my only complaint about the show. The opening credits at a minute and 19 seconds. It's too fucking long. I have a theory on that. By the end of the season, the very last episode will be every every city being built and and the end. That'll be the entire. Yeah. That'll be the entire. That'll episode. be it. Just be literally fifty six minutes of the introduction. Wiener 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 fluffy wiener blessed wiener. Yeah. Like, what was it called? Sons of Cashley? I think that's that's what the theme song's called. Sons of Cashley. Something like that. I have. It doesn't even fucking matter. It's annoying. It, it's the one thing that I fast forward through every other time. That and then when two guys come up on the screen, because it's just really not that thing. (laughs) Yeah, because every time I see two gay, two guys, yeah, gay on the screen, that's all I hear is wiener, 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 wiener. Like, that's where it is. Now, back on this first. I'm not anti gay, I'm just not gay. I'm not anti gay either. (laughs) I'm just not gay. (laughs) Excuse me. Um, The one thing I'm curious. I don't know where, where Cersei Lannister is going with this plan to discredit or whatever Marjorie's brother because he's gay. As soon as as soon as people find out that she is in, has ancestral that might be how uh, Tomlin dies. Now I think of it. Is they find out that he's a product of an ancestral relationship between Jamie and John or Jamie and uh, Cersei. Well who is that say? Well, does that leave Marjorie as king? Queen? Marjorie will be queen. Uh, that's how Cersei was technically queen for a while until what's his name was of age. So, Joffrey, queen regent. Well, well, yeah, well, right now she's queen regent. Ugh. Yeah. So, I don't understand what her game plan is because as soon as people find out, she's trying I'm to sure. get all she can get while she can get it. Because after, I'm pretty sure after Joffrey died, she realized the end is nigh. Yeah, the, the, what would have been smart is for the uh, the Tyrells to just do like a purple wedding version of the red wedding, but all the Joffreys, all the uh, Lannisters get killed, except for Jamie. Jamie's okay by himself. Yeah, I have no problem with Jamie whatsoever. I mean, he's pretty pissed off at Tyrion. Like I, I can understand you. that. I can understand that. I like can... I told you, well, I, well, not not Tyrell Lannister either, or Tyrion Lannister. I like Tyrion Lannister. I like Jamie. I like Jamie and Tyrion together. I'm pretty like I, I understand why Jamie's pissed off at Tyrion. I'd be pretty mad too. But then again, your dad was a douchebag, so yeah. there's that. Yeah. So I told you we had this discussion a long time ago, and I told you there's no character on TV I like when he's away from another character. Then I despise him when he's with the character. When he's around, Cersei Lannister. I despise. Cannot Jamie freaking stand Jamie. Lannister, because he, for some reason, his balls get put in her purse, and she carries them around with her when they're together. And then when he leaves, his his morality picks up, he is a better person, and he does things for a morality reason, not for a selfish reason. Well, what he did with Brielle. Yeah. 
but Bree, the fact that he he killed the Mad King to save millions of people before he lit all the the, the wildfire on on fire. That was brilliant. That the knight went back and explained that to the Darius that her father was a fucking nut job. Yeah. That was good. That was good business. I'm finally glad they got that out there because it it seemed for the first couple of seasons that she was under the delusion that her father was good and honorable and all that heavy horse shit and then the, the sir what the fuck's his old ass name was uh no, your your dad was a goddamn nut job. Mm-hmm. I like that. That that was good they finally got that up. Alright, there's you a yes. you gotta piss. <laughs> So, because Chad has to pee, we have to stop our Game of Thrones conversation. I'm pretty sure we've covered just about anything that's happened to this point, which is the point of the conversation. We don't yeah. need to conjecture. There are a million nerds out there right now with a million We only had two more things to talk about on my list. What? The Batman trailer and the Star Wars trailer. All right. Those can be done quickly, though. Yeah, so we can stop Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. So, those of you who want a Game of Thrones, there's your 40 minutes of Game of Thrones. Yay. I've got to pee. Stay tuned. Go ahead, Pete. Stay tuned. Star Wars and Batman trailers. We're going to talk about those real quick, and then the podcast is done. We don't have a top ten this week. Seriously, this is for you, but it's not going to any of you. Sit on spin, seriously.